Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Drip for your own campaign. We have a lot to cover in this video so try to watch it to the end and let's get started. First of all, here, here is how your Drip looks like. Here you have people, campaigns, workflows and analytics. So basically we will start by building our email list then we will start our first campaign and we will take a quick look on workflows. So let's go to people and now let's choose dashboard here. Then let's press on create. And now let's use import list of people. Here it will give you multiple options. I will choose add a single person just for trial and I will add an email here perfect has been added so now let's go to campaigns here I will use single emails And now I will press on create on the top and I will use new visual builder campaign because new text HTML campaign requires coding and this is a beginner tutorial. So now let's choose this and now let's create the campaign name as tutorial and press on create campaign. So here we basically have three steps so the first one is the recipients that you will send the email to then you will design the email itself and finally you will use split uh, test variations however this third step will be escaped because it's advanced and we will not use it in this tutorial so starting with sending to i will choose to add on the plus sign and i will choose create a one-time use segment then I will choose all the subscribed people. However, if you want to filter among your own subscribers or your own contacts, you can press on filter here and choose the criteria upon which you are going to filter among your contacts. So I will choose all my contacts here and I will click on view these people and here one person has been detected and I will save. Next step is to design the email itself. So I will press on the plus sign here Be before. No, uh, if I press on plus sign, it will just collapse this. So I will press again and I will choose one of the drip templates. So let's say I, for example, I want to um, make a campaign regarding the Black Friday. So I want to market for my own products in the Black Friday. So I want to search for a template which is related to the Black Friday. So I'm going to write Black here, Friday. Here it is. I will choose this template. Can also preview it from this icon. However, I'm just going to use it. And here is how your template looks like. So you can basically add these elements or you can add new elements from here. In order, in order to add an element, you can just press on the element here. And you can choose the place where you want to place the element. And when you navigate to the place that you want to place the element, you will see a plus sign appears here. If you want to add it here, you can do the same to text, button, spacer, social links, and section. Now, if you want to edit on any of these elements, you can just click on it here and choose to click on it, click to edit and here it will expand the components of the comp of the element itself. So let's say it's the header. It has two components, which are the background and the layout. So to edit the background, you can press on ed edit background here and it will start some options like changing image, like changing background color. And if you chose the layout, it will allow you to choose things like vertical spacing, horizontal spacing, column batting, so this is how it works. So this is basically how you can change the layout. So now let's return back 
and if you want to edit on the image all what you need to do is to just click on it sorry I need to first to save or press on done to close the email header first then I need to click on this and here I can access all the settings like the image itself I can replace it from here I can upload from my own device you can also you can also change or link this uh, this image to a specific link like your website or something you can also control the alignment vertical spacing add more options once you are done you can also edit on your header by clicking on it and click to edit and here you will find its components which are background and layout you can also uh, move any of these components or duplicate it or delete it so once you are done you can just go to preview here and click on it and here you can see how your um, campaign looks like you can also choose different devices from the top and once you are done you can exit preview and you can press on done editing then you can save it from here or you can send or schedule sending and in order to send it you can uh, you need to verify all your um, information like your website like your email and so on and so forth so once you are done you can navigate to campaigns here and you will find your campaign successfully here so this is basically how you can build your own campaign now let's go to workflow and we will just take a quick look on it so basically workflow has the same concept as automations it's a sequence of steps that are applied uh, automatically once a specific event is activated or a specific event is triggered so let's for example choose one of these templates and see how it works so basically in welcome series template here a trigger will happen which is if someone subscribed to your email marketing in this case if someone subscribed to our black friday offer here it will send him an email or a welcome email first then it will wait for 48 hours then it will send him another email another welcome email so this is basically how uh, workflows or automations work you can also install template and edit on it the way you want so um, this is basically how you can easily use drip email campaigns that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you like this video press on like then subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos until then take care and goodbye